Antarctica, the coldest, emptiest place on Earth. A continent so harsh, even life itself seems impossible. But what if I told you? This frozen wasteland wasn't always ice and emptiness. Millions of years ago, before the endless snow and blinding storms, Antarctica was alive. It was covered in thick forests, warm rivers, and creatures so bizarre and terrifying, they'd make even dinosaurs look ordinary. From giant penguins the size of men, to killer birds that ruled the ice, these were the forgotten beasts of the South, and the fossils buried beneath Antarctica's frozen crust tell a story that science is only just beginning to uncover. Let's step into the past, before the freeze, and discover seven extinct creatures that once ruled Antarctica. Number one, Mega Penguin, the king beneath the ice. Everyone knows penguins as harmless, cute little birds that wobble around in tuxedos. But millions of years ago, penguins were something else entirely. Meet the Mega Penguin, a bird so massive it could tower over a human. Standing more than six feet tall, this ancient predator ruled the Antarctic seas 34 million years ago. Its bones tell us it could dive deeper, swim faster, and stay underwater longer than any penguin alive today. In the icy oceans of pre-frozen Antarctica, these beasts didn't just fish, they hunted. Imagine swimming in the ancient southern seas, when suddenly, a massive black and white shadow glides below you. No sound, no warning, just cold eyes and sharp beak. The mega penguin was built for dominance. And here's the eerie part. Scientists think these super penguins evolved right after the dinosaurs vanished, as if the oceans needed new rulers. But what lived above the waves? What strange creatures wandered the forests before everything turned to ice? Number two, Latopterns, the Antarctic camels that time forgot. Today, Antarctica has no trees, no grass, no land animals, nothing. But once upon a time, it was home to lush green forests, teeming with strange mammals. Among them roamed the Litopterns, camel-like creatures with long necks, slender legs, and faces that looked oddly like tapirs. Their DNA links them to horses and rhinos, but their fossils were found deep in Antarctica's ancient soil. Meaning, this frozen continent was once warm, alive, and crawling with animals. The Litopterns grazed on the prehistoric Antarctic plains, feeding on thick vegetation. But as the climate began to shift, the forests died. And so did they. Their extinction marked the beginning of Antarctica's fall into darkness. But they weren't the last giants to walk these forgotten lands. Because just beyond them came creatures that looked like they were stitched together by evolution itself. Number three, Astropotheres, the elephant-hippo hybrids. Picture an elephant with the face of a hippo and the body of something in between. That's the Astropother one of the strangest mammals that ever lived. These massive beasts once roamed the prehistoric wetlands of Antarctica, sharing the land with mega penguins and light up turns. Scientists still don't know who their modern relatives were because they were unlike anything alive today. Their skeletons show enormous tusks, a heavy body and short stubby legs, perfectly built for a slow swampy life. They were peaceful herbivores, but colossal in size. And while they might sound harmless, the world they lived in was not. When the Astropotheries roamed, something else began to rise. Creatures that didn't graze, but hunted. And they were faster, smarter, and far more terrifying. Because after the dinosaurs disappeared, a new kind of killer took their place. Number four, terror birds the nightmares of the South. They couldn't fly, but they didn't need to. The terror birds were built for one thing, domination. Standing over 10 feet tall, with hooked beaks and legs powerful enough to shatter bones, these were Antarctica's apex predators. 
Their fossils and ancient footprints have been found frozen in the ice, proof that even this far south they once hunted freely. When dinosaurs went extinct, terror birds took over the role of top predator in South America and eventually crossed into Antarctica while the continents were still connected. They could sprint faster than any human, their razor beaks slicing through flesh like blades. Every creature, from mega penguins to astropotheres, feared them. But here's the twist. The only living relatives of these monsters today are small, harmless birds called Seriamus. That's right. The descendants of Earth's deadliest birds are now tiny, chirping survivors. Yet even the terror birds had something to fear. Because beneath the water, a creature far larger and far older was waiting. Number 5. Basilosaurus. The Serpent of the Sea. If you think whales are gentle giants, meet their prehistoric ancestor, the Basilosaurus, 60 feet long, twice the size of a school bus. With jaws packed full of jagged teeth, this wasn't a gentle giant. It was a killing machine. The Basilosaurus wasn't quite a modern whale yet. It still had tiny back legs, useless, but proof that whales once walked on land. It hunted everything that moved, fish, sharks, and even smaller whales. If Basilosaurus still swam today, no ship would be safe. Its fossilized bones have been found in what was once the warm sea around ancient Antarctica, before global cooling turned those waters to ice. And when that temperature dropped, everything changed. Antarctica began to freeze, forests died, oceans hardened, and the last generation of bacillosaurs disappeared beneath the waves forever. But before the freeze was complete, one predator still ruled the land. Number six. Cryolophosaurus, the dinosaur of ice. Yes, Antarctica had dinosaurs. Long before any mammal or penguin appeared, the frozen continent was part of a massive landmass called Gondwana. Back then, the world was warmer, and the land now buried under miles of ice was alive. At the top of that world stood Cryolophosaurus, a ferocious predator with a strange crown-like crest on its head. Its fossils were found high in Antarctica's Mount Kirkpatrick in 1991, proof that even dinosaurs once ruled this southern kingdom. Scientists still debate what that crest was for. Maybe mating displays, maybe dominance. But one thing's certain. This dinosaur was built to hunt. Sharp teeth, long claws, swift, deadly speed. It was the apex predator of its time. Antarctica's version of the T-Rex. When you imagine a dinosaur roaring across icy cliffs, remember, that scene isn't fantasy, it's history. And yet, long before the Cryolophosaurus vanished, another creature walked this land, one that would change science forever. Number seven, Lystrosaurus, the animal that proved continents move. It wasn't big, it wasn't fast, and it definitely wasn't pretty but the Lystrosaurus may be the most important extinct creature ever found in Antarctica. About the size of a pig, this strange reptile-mammal hybrid lived 247 million years ago, long before dinosaurs rose to power. Fossils of Lystrosaurus were discovered in South Africa, India, and Antarctica, thousands of miles apart. That shouldn't have been possible, unless the continents were once connected. This single creature helped scientists prove the theory of continental drift, that Earth's landmasses were once one giant supercontinent that slowly broke apart. But that's not the only reason it's special. Lystrosaurus also survived the greatest extinction in Earth's history, the Permian extinction, when nearly every other species on the planet died out. It could hibernate for months, enduring long winters and food shortages. And that survival instinct may be the same evolutionary trait that helped mammals, and eventually, us, thrive. From this small, stubborn creature, the blueprint for survival was born. So, what does Antarctica hide now? Beneath miles of ice lie the remains of forests, rivers, and worlds we've never seen. 
Every fossil pulled from the ice rewrites what we think we know about this planet and about life itself. Mega penguins, terror birds, ice dinosaurs, and creatures so strange they defy logic. Each one tells a story of power, survival, and extinction. And here's the real mystery. If this frozen continent once thrived with life, what else is still trapped beneath the ice, waiting to be discovered? Antarctica may look lifeless now, but in truth, it's just sleeping.